Hello and welcome to Truckers World for another video. Hope you're all doing well, okay? I'm uh, not doing too bad myself, however, uh, this video is about a update on me being on an agency. Now, I've been on agency, I've said this before, well, continuously, basically. Probably, I'd say, I've been on agency for probably almost a like, oh, year. Yeah, been a year, over a year. Um, definitely over a year. So, I've worked for the company I'm with at the minute, Big courier company, done a review on them already. You might have seen the name, uh, you'll certainly know them. Uh, drive around in big blue wagons, you'll know, you might know that. And I've been working for them probably since September, October time, mostly at the Northern branch in Bolton. However, work's been doing really well, but now it's starting to trickle out. Okay, now I've managed to secure work mostly most weeks, even if it's about four days, it's not been too bad. Um, but I was pre-warned that they were getting rid of a lot of agency drivers and now the, it feels like the noose is starting to tighten now. Okay, so not been much work at Bolton apart from maybe Saturday or Sunday, which, you know, is okay. Not too bad. On an agency, you get paid minimum uh, eight hour day and quite often you might finish a little bit early, so that's good. Uh, and on my last video, I said that I've been working for further down south in Warrington, which I have been doing. That's been fine. Um... So this week I was supposed to do Monday, which is today, and also Wednesday and Friday. And bear in mind the collections, which I do starting at 9 o'clock, they've all been 9 hour days. So you might get a free days doing 27 hours. That's okay, that's part time, that's fine. However, due to lack of work, uh, obviously orders coming in, etc., I would have thought, now my Wednesday and Friday have been cut off. And I'm a bit gutted. If I'm honest, uh, that's how I feel. I feel very gutted about that, and I'll come to that later on. Personal feelings, etc. So today I've been stopped at 9 o'clock, and Wednesday and Friday they had no 9 o'clock, so they could only offer me 1 o'clock starts in the afternoon. You know, that's kind of going out my kind of comfort zone a little bit, doing a little bit of, you know, night work, so to speak. Not so not major night work, but, you know, by the time you've done your shift and halfway through, you are going to be on nights. But I decided to accept it because needs must. But it's been cancelled, and because I've been booked on the Friday starting at 1 o'clock in the afternoon, not probably finishing until maybe 10, 11, I could not then be able to put myself down for Saturday or Sunday, because they're 6 o'clock in the morning starts, so I wouldn't be able to do that. So now I've kind of on one day this week, which is not good. It's not good at all. Half term's just been, I had a week off then with the family uh, for holidays, and yeah, the first feelings as an agency driver um, is a little bit of anxiety. Didn't like having that message cancelled. It's the first time this company's cancelled work in all that time. It's the very first time. So I've got a little bit worried. Uh, I've also obviously been told that, you know, there's nothing back at Bolton for this week either. And that was last week. Um, nothing at all, apart from maybe weekend now. So yeah. As a HGV driver and agency, you start getting a bit anxious, a little bit worried, and you're thinking, now, the first things that come through my mind, well, what will next week be like, you know, kind of the noose is tightening, I'm getting work here, I'm having to not do six o'clock starts anymore, I'm having to move up to like nine o'clock to one o'clock, will I end up doing nights just to get a bit of work in? You know, it's not an easy situation to be in when you are a HGV driver, there's no doubt about that. And this is what I said about, about previous uh, reviews, about being an agency you you know it all depends on your financial situation you know and if you can handle it you know where you might not get work for a week or they might cancel can you afford to live off of what you've already done etc etc it's not an easy I don't think a lot of people can do it you know unless you're semi-retired you know being on a hate being on an agency at the minute as a HGB driver is I don't think it's that great it's March we're not February we're not January March the other agencies that I used to be on, well, I still am on, uh, quite a good, reputable agency, excellent to work for, very professional, and they've got nothing either. Nothing at all. It's absolutely nuts. In in the March, we're at the beginning of March, things should start to be picking up now, and yet there's no work on agencies. Uh, or it certainly doesn't feel that way. Having a look on Job Centre websites, of course. You know, this is a, the crazy thing about it. When I looked... In January, early January, there weren't that many. Now, it almost feels like it's back to normal. There's a lot of jobs on there. You put in their jobs there in the last couple of days, and it's a fair few Class 2 jobs. 
and class ones they're all there but yet on agency this doesn't seem to be much going on and that's unfortunate that's very unfortunate uh, and obviously lack of work for wednesday and friday that is surprising for a big big courier firm like this and they are very very big very reputable out there it's uh it's a surprise and a bit of a shock so uh what i'm gonna do i'm gonna obviously wait for next week um normally I, I would have been on saturday or sunday but it's purely because of my start time that i was booked on for with a friday being a one o'clock and uh, one p.m in the afternoon that's purely why I wasn't booked on for the weekend, so I may have been able to get the weekend with that. So it might not have been too bad, but I'm going to see what happens next week. See if I can pick up a couple of more days and see if I can still survive a little bit that way for now. But we'll see. We will see. Your feelings that I get, of course, like I said, anxiety. You're worried. Starting to think about maybe, should I, is it time to get a full-time job now? You know, a couple of weeks maybe I can do the odd couple of days, but that's not going to last. Um, it's not going to last, so probably have a little meeting with my partner, see what she says. We'll go from there, and I'll give you an update. Okay? Uh, so, yeah, for all those agency drivers who are on agency or who want to continue to be on agency, you know, these are the pitfalls. When work doesn't come in and it's really quiet, that's when you do worry. And I've got to be honest, by March... You know, it almost feels like a very seasonal thing to be on agency these days, almost from maybe end of April to September, and that's it, that's your lot. Because last year, in September, October, there was nothing. So, yeah, things are changing, definitely. But we'll see. I would say that, you know, a big thank you for this company I'm working on at the minute, because without them, there they really wouldn't be anything. You'd have to go temp to perm. You'd have to get a full-time job. And that's not an issue. That's fine. It's just that my circumstances dictate that really I could do with just being on an agency. But there you go. So I'm going to put on another video uh, maybe later on next week uh, or later on this week when I find out if I've been booked again and find out if work is still trickling it in. If it isn't, then uh, I'll certainly have to start thinking about change. But we'll see. Right, thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for all the subscribers. Hopefully some more videos coming on here soon, so keep tuned. Thank you.